four key positions we have to master when you're using the pocket path in the beginning. This is crucial for you to do dry reps and break this up into one, two, three, four, and we're gonna wait until we get to mastery of these four positions before we get the baseball in our hand. So really encourage you to practice without a ball, then bring in the plyo balls. This is what we do. We're gonna set it up in that low pocket position for beginners, and I'm gonna go over our four positions. Neutral position, which is just kind of relaxed. We're gonna slide our hand into that belt. My hand, facing my belly right now, is in a relaxed position. This is the starting point. Position one is a simple finger turn and just slide out of the sleeve. The mistakes I see is that we don't go with the sleeve all the way. Position neutral, go all the way in the sleeve, but not all the way out. So I'm right at the edge here, making sure I'm as close to that end as I can. One position is just simple finger turn. We can add a step to that if we want to get the timing of my foot down on the ground, fingers on top of the ball. So now I've seen it's just a slight turn. My thumb goes down, my fingers are on top. That's your first mastery of position one. Next one, we go up to position two. So we're taking that same starting point, neutral position, all the way in the sleeve, and I'm just gonna turn my fingers on top is that one position, and I go up to the two position. The two position is what we call our power position. The ball should be even or relaxed below the armpit at this spot, not outside here, and not pulling back into the scap. This is a simple way of just learning how to float the arm up into this position here. If I do this wrong, the sleeve rips off. So this is really key, this is why the sleeve works, is to make sure that we're gently guiding up and we're not rushing this and pulling the sleeve off the belt. So I get it set up in that 30 degree position, I slide into neutral, I go to the one, two, and I'm stopping right here. I can add that step into that too as well. The third position, hips. We know power is from the hips. This is how we get that timing with the arm. And this is the, really the big meat part of the pocket path is getting up to the two, master that, hold that position and start to learn how to turn your hips without moving my arm. So I'm trying to relax my arm and you notice it doesn't move and I'm learning how to separate these two. So as I get better at this, I start to come up one, two, three. One, two, three. Learning how not to activate the hand. I want to relax the hand because I want the hand, now when we get to the four position, to whip back on its own because of the power the hips have created. So let's go to that fourth position. Position one, two, three, four is rotate and throw. That's the shoulders. We call this the whip. We're trying not to let this hand come inside 90 too far. We're not trying to let it go outside 90 either. So we want to keep that two position, three position. You notice my arm position is right slightly in. You can be slightly in or slightly out, but we don't want to go too far in. That's going to cause us some lasso issues, and we don't want to go so far out that it drags. So the really why it's important for us to master these positions is because we want lots of dry reps. Now I'm going to do a head count. One, two, three, four tempo count really slow, breaking each piece into separate pieces. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do that a few times. One, two, three, four. As I start to get used to that, I pick up the tempo. Really important. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna go faster. One, two, three, four. As I start to keep that same positioning, but increase the tempo, I'll start to feel a nice whip in the arm and a really clean delivery using the pocket path. For you catchers and infielders, we talked about the higher pocket. Everything is the same. All four positions are the same. It's just the starting position is different. You start from that high pocket position. My hand is neutral. I turn into the one. I turn to the two. Hips are three. Four is the throw. Everything's the same, just a different starting position. Make sure we don't rush out of here. We want to relax and come out of there nice and calm and allow the hips to take the arm into that perfect throw using the pocket path.